is going on you guys, Gibbs Googer back again for another video, and today's video is another sneaker review on the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam. Now basically uh, what this colorway is, um, is basically is based off the movie uh, known as Space Jam that came out a while back, uh, which actually is why this shoe was basically made. Um, so, because in the movie, uh, this is, that is where this shoe was actually debuted. Um, and then Michael Jordan started playing in the shoe, and then it was soon later released. So, basically, when it was released back in 2000, uh, it was actually, um, basically the Space Jam, um, in 2000, basically uh released on december um december 13th which was a wednesday and it, everybody was going crazy it was actually one of the first uh anticipated releases of basically jordan branding which causes how it is today where you see lines you see raffles you see all this extra stuff basically um this is one of the shoes that actually started that whole craze about it so um basically um when these first released, uh, Jordan Branding uh, originally was playing around with the idea of um, adding Space Jam to the front, and we'll, I'll show you that later, where that was supposed to be. And then they put Jumpman Jam uh, was uh, like a um, little bit after um, when we basically uh, when the final product hit, uh, it had Jumpman Jam on it. And then in 2009, when it was re-released, it had Jumpman Jordan as it has today. So, that's just a little couple cool facts about the shoe. Um, so, basically, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into the couple of give a breakdown of the shoe. Um, and, yeah, I was going to get right into it. So, the materials and the entire colorway is actually kind of similar to what the breads look like, as you do see. Uh, you have an entire black upper on both shoes and the white midsole, the white 23 on the back, the white jump and Jordan on the front, um, and the same toe caps, as you do see, they both have the same toe cap, um, it's actually not like the Concord, where it's a solid milky toe, so, yeah. Basically, here's the Space Jam. It, basically, the entire colorway consists of black, blue, and white. You have a black entire, basically your entire upper is black with a black patent leather, your black leather on the back here, and your black mesh upper as well. You also have your black roped laces with your black mesh tongue. You also have inscribed here, which is where I was talking about, had Jumpman Jam, and originally was going to have Space Jam on it. As you see, it says Jumpman Jam. Jordan, um, and the blue Jumpman is just right there, and your other blue Jumpman is on the back here. And if you do not know, the original colorways of the Jordan 11 actually had the Jumpman facing uh, to the front of the shoe on the left shoe. So that was kind of a different thing they actually added because um, I don't know. I really don't know why they did that, um, why they changed the Jumpman. Uh, as you do see, it's actually now facing towards the back, but on the original pairs, it did it face to the front, um, and then it was retro nine years later with what you see in before it. Um, the shoe also featured an icy sole with blue uh, traction units on the sole with a blue Jumpman within the sole, and your white midsole as well, and a black carbon fiber plate at the bottom of the sole. So basically, this shoe, um, like I said, was inspired based off the movie. It was actually made its first debut in the movie. Um, so this is honestly a really, really nice shoe. If you are able to acquire it, I really recommend it. Um, there are some uh, things um, I don't really care for too much on it. Um, there's really two things. It's just that toe cap. I think it would have been better with the uh, mil milky toe cap like the Concords have. Honestly, I just I, I feel like this tote cap just doesn't look as clean as the milky ones like the Concords and Cool Grays and Columbia's had. As you do see, it's solid like that. But it means whatever uh, Jordan Brand wants. Um, and honestly, um, this is a really really nice shoe. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if soon the or even maybe even next year. Because um, ever since 2006, if I'm correct, 
trying to think if I'm correct on that. Uh, yeah, 2006, um, what was 2008? Uh, I don't really remember if there was anything that retroed in 2007. I don't believe so. Um, 2006, you had the DMP-11, and that started the craze with having a new Jordan 11 every year. I don't remember if there was one in 2007. I can't remember off the top of my head. There could be one, there could have been not one. I don't believe there was, but um, I could be wrong. And then the Bread came out with a countdown pack in 2008. 2009 had the Retro the Space Jam. 2010 had the Cool Grey. 2011 had the Concords. 2012 had the Bread again. 2013 had the Gammas, which is the first new colorway. And then 2014 had the Pantones and the uh, Legend Blues. So uh, this year we're actually having the 72 and 10 uh, Jordan, uh, which actually looks very similar to the Bread. Which um, I was actually thinking they were going to retro the Bread uh, because, of, of course, of all the accolades I said um, in a previous video. Um, which it would make a lot more sense to have the Bread retro when everyone was saying that maybe the Space Jam would. But now we know we have, we're getting the 72 and 10. Jordan 11, which is almost like a bread 11, but has an icy blue sole. Uh, so it's very similar, but it's whatever. Um, so the Space Jam, honestly, is one of my personal favorite colorways. Um, so yeah, now I have the Concords, Breads, and Space Jams. Uh, I'm actually two colorways away from owning the five main colorways that I want to own in my collection which are uh, Columbia's, Gamma's, not Gamma's, I'm sorry, Columbia's, Cool Grey's, uh, Concord's, Bread's, and Space Jam's. I currently own, like I said, the Concord's, Bread's, and Space Jam's, so I just got to get another pair of Cool Grey's. I used to have a pair of Cool Grey's, if you guys did not know. Um, and then I had, uh, I want to get a pair of the Columbia's. Um, not the 2014 release, but um, either 2001 or a 96 pair. So, I'm still looking for those two. Um, maybe I get lucky at the next sneaker event. Um, I actually am going to a sneaker event on April 12th. Um, and I may be going to one later on this, on this, uh, this month. So, stay tuned uh, for April, the April 12th sneaker event. That's in a month. So, uh, hopefully um, that goes well. I'm going to be trying to stock up on some shoes uh, and try to make... Um, get some money and all that and uh, try to get some of these shoes and hopefully I'll come back with some new shoes to actually review for you guys so um, the weekly sneaker rotation uh, will either be posted tomorrow or will be posted later on today um, I'm gonna be recording it today but I don't know if it will be um, if I'm gonna actually decide to post it today or if I'm gonna wait and post it tomorrow for tomorrow's video um, I might post it today I don't really know yet I haven't still decided yet but I am going to be recording it today, so, yeah, and um, this past week, uh, that, um, ever since Sunday, has been a really crazy week uh, with uh, shoes, so stay tuned for next week's uh, weekly sneaker rotation, because that's going to be a really uh, strong week, so, yeah, that's about it for this video, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button down below, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated, and, yeah, that's about it, um, like I said, I appreciate it, and uh, if you like some of the content on the channel, uh, you can subscribe as well, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, appreciate you guys watching the video again, and I'll make sure to keep posting these videos uh, more often. Uh, I know I was AFK uh, for quite some time on the channel uh, for like the past like few weeks. I was really dead on the channel. I was supposed to get like two, three videos a week. Um, and I usually try to post at least something every few days, every two, three days. Um, I know these past uh, few episodes have actually been posted every day. Um, but basically, uh, that was about it. Uh, that's about it. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys um, in the next video. And, yeah. Later on. Uh, later on, I'll uh, make sure to do a, a video on uh, what, like, an update of... Uh, what's been what's been happening with the channel and all that um soon eventually so um but yeah stay tuned for the other reviews and yeah that's about it thank you guys again for watching i'll see you guys in another video later guys